Of all the denizens that once roamed Kansas waters, pallid sturgeons were among the most beastly. These strange creatures, looking like a cross between a shark and a carp, once lived in three rivers in northeastern Kansas. They have all but disappeared from their former range of the upper Midwest. Only about 50 wild spawning individuals remain. The U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service is currently working to restore populations to a healthy level. This year, Kansas Wildlife and Parks joined the effort to determine if we could contribute. Milford Fish Hatchery received 10,000 pallid sturgeon eggs from a federal hatchery at Gavin's Point, South Dakota in May. Since that time, careful management has resulted in a small but healthy population of 325 of these rare fish. Held in a raceway at 67 degrees, they are kept in a darkened area and fed tiny pellets by automatic feeders. The four-inch fingerlings could eventually grow into monsters weighing up to 300 pounds. But these will never be released into Kansas waters since they are estranged from river systems in other states. At this point, the experiment is only to determine if our hatcheries can successfully raise sturgeons that are genetically appropriate to our area. Things are looking good so far. If successful, giant pallid sturgeons could one day rejoin their smaller cousins, shovel-nosed sturgeons that still exist in Kansas waters. This cooperative effort is another way that Kansas Wildlife and Parks seeks to wisely protect and conserve our outdoor heritage. I'm Mike Blair for Kansas Wildlife and Parks.